the home of Charlie Wall, also known as the Dean of the Underworld, in the Tampa area. He was part of what they called like the Cracker Mafia or the Cracker uh, Mob. So this right here is actually a hitching post back when they used to use horses over here. He was found dead in this house in 1955. His head was bashed in with a baseball bat and his throat was slit from ear to ear. Now, there's a lot of speculation because he had kind of been forced into retirement by Santo Traficante uh, Jr. And so there were people that didn't really know what happened. There's a lot of talk about maybe he started bad-mouthing him around town and that he wanted to come back into the Bolitos ring. But he was really powerful in the 1920s and 30s, you know, normal gangsta era time. And all of that happened. Uh, you know, down in Ybor City where we were, but this is where he lived. It's on 13th, uh, 13th Street and 17th Avenue. So it's not too far from, from it in those days, and there wasn't any interstate that was crossing along. But this is it right here. These are like the last remnants. And there's a famous picture of his body being taken down from these stairs right here. Uh, so these are the same wrought iron fencing and all of that. This is one of the last remnants of a huge power here in uh, the Ybor City area.